the way you presented, Johanna, your story was also somewhat in a cultural context, and there was some response to that as an issue within your own community. Is, do you want to talk about that at all? Do we want to talk about that? <laughs> um, I mean, I guess it, to us, you know, coming in, I, there was just some obvious hurdles, which is grandma and grandpa were speaking Spanish a lot of the time, and, and um, we didn't want to miss anything, and my Spanish is not that good. Um, but we kinda, I kind of made a deal with, with Joanna's grandpa when he was in the hospital room, which wasn't, he didn't like to be in there, but he would speak English for like 25 minutes, and then he would tell me that he's going to speak Spanish, and I had to try to tell him what he was saying. <laughs> so <laughs> that was kind of that was kind of fun. But I, I think there was a little bit there was some trust issues there. I think at first, especially with with um, Joanna's grandmother is very 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 protective. <laughs> um, and I remember the first time I went to the hospital was before we had ever met her. Um, she screamed at me and told me to get out of here right now and called me a bunch of names, which I still to this day don't know what they are. And my friend who was with me who speaks Spanish would not tell me what she said. <laughs> so um, it took a little while, but I think once we got to know them, it, it was kind of the opposite. They wanted so much to make us comfortable that we had to keep reminding them, like, no, 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 just don't, we don't want to do anything. You're just, we'll, we're just here. You don't have to make us comfortable. And, you know, like we were in this big hospital room and the grandpa kept saying, oh, no, you need, trying to scoot the teenage boys out of these chairs saying, let the ladies sit down. And I'm like, no, let the ladies sit on the, in the windowsill so no one can see her. Um, and, and so there was a little bit of that. But I, I, but I felt like, um, you know, it was less of a um, culture thing and more of a, of, a, of a neighborhood thing. And, you know, in the neighborhood that this occurred in is, is a neighborhood on the, on the west side of Cleveland, but it's definitely a very impoverished neighborhood. But it was a neighborhood that I was familiar with from growing up, so I felt like it kind of helped a little bit to know when it's okay to speak up and when it's okay and... and to interject something and, and when it's not. So I don't know, I mean, we may have acted like fools and they laughed at us, I don't know. But <laughs> um, the only other big thing that I, I remember a moment that, that really stood out to me was when we were discussing the story that was already partially written. Um, and it was definitely a cultural thing. There's a part of in the story about, about Joanna's father who had died and, and um, Joanna had talked about how he had been somewhat abusive to her mother sometimes and her aunts were kind of enraged that that might be in the story. They were not happy about it at all. And so I was getting very nervous. Like, it's one of those tipping points where you don't know what's going to happen. What's with the story? Could this kill everything? And um, I was just, once again, for the millionth time, floored by Joanna. And she turned to her aunt and said, you know, when we said we're going to do this, it's, it's got to be the truth, and it's got to be the whole truth. People will know that it's not if it's, if it's not. But she said, this happened, and I was there. So it's true, and it, and it has to be a part of it. You know, we can't hide it just because it makes us look better, it makes us feel more comfortable. And um, I was just like, yes, she's a good girl. She knows, she knows, you know, she, she gets it. Um, but I know that was probably really, really hard for her and put her in, in a hard spot with her family. I don't know. 